Nikki and Josh found this 1970s home four years ago, just before starting their family. And I was sold from the moment we walked in. It took some convincing. It took a lot of convincing. His parents helped too. We came from a newer home, and we know this house is an older home, and we're going to find things wrong with it. It's just maintenance. Every house needs maintenance. We have changed the windows. We have done work on the outside. We have painted. A lot of what we were doing to me was just more working towards a good resale value. That was also before we had kids. We brought them home here. They have grown up here. They love playing outside. You won't get this location or this yard anywhere else. The living room is not functional to our lifestyle. The living room could be more open, but I do love our dining room like it is. We need more space and more of an open concept. And if we open up the kitchen a little bit, that allows us more space. Blowing the wall out isn't going to solve all of our problems. Everything that I don't like about this kitchen, I know we can get somewhere else. It's outdated. It still has the popcorn ceiling. As you can see, it's almost everywhere. It's texture, and some people like it. And these cabinets, old, original, there's not a lot of storage in them. We can easily just get rid of the peninsula. And new cabinets. Easy. New appliances. Easy. I guess I'll have to start working harder. <laughs> yeah. The office is an eyesore. And if Nikki's working, there just isn't a lot of privacy. With working in the office, I understand it's right off the front door. I think there needs to be a dedicated, separate area. I will shut the door, and I'll be fine. There is no door. It's, well, we'll get one. It'll be super easy. Just like painting the doors that took me, what, two weeks? <laughs> Go, follow Come mommy. On. I know you hate clutter, but there's no way to get rid of the clutter in our current, what we call mud room. We need a mud room that can keep everything hidden away. A mud room is a big must that we can't get here. Even when guests are here to use the bathroom, it, there isn't a nice flow into there. I can agree with that. It needs to be fixed a little bit. Or we can just find a newer home. I have done an evaluation on your home. OK. And the current value is $385,000. I think that's right about well, where it should be. What is the must-have list to get you out of this house? As hard as that may seem. <laughs> An open concept kitchen and living room. Fully updated and move-in ready. Four bedrooms. I would prefer to have two guest spaces. A great dining room for holidays and family dinners. So it's not enough just to have a huge eating kitchen. You want an actual separate dining room? Yes. OK. An office for myself. I do work from home. A bonus room or play space for the kids. And I would like to stay near this area. Awesome. All right, what is the budget for the new house? $500,000. That's not bad. I mean, we'll, we'll see what we can do. We will see what you can do. All right, over to you. OK, Josh, so. Yes. What could I do, taking projects off of your list and putting them on mine, that would make this house into somewhere that you could imagine staying? I mean, the biggest thing for me is I would love an open concept main floor. Kitchen facelift and add storage. Update the powder room. Create a true mud room. Create a second guest space. Remove the hideous popcorn ceilings. <laughs> and finally, add resale value. Of course it's going to add that resale value. That's true. But I'm hoping that it will also create a home that you're going to fall back in love with. So tell me what my budget is. Your budget is $110,000. I think I can work with that. OK, good. And uh, yes. when I'm done, you're going to love it. All right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. Good luck with that. Yes. Oh. There you go. All right. So starting with this space, this is currently Nikki's office. It's not going to stay in Nikki's office. They want open concept. So I'm going to blow out that wall into this living room right here. This gets blown out to open up into this kitchen. All right. Come all one fabulous room. And then I'm going to take out that sliding door system and put in a nice big window. Sounds good. Sounds good. Then this set of sliding doors stays. They have a lovely formal dining room, which I'm not touching because Nikki loves it. Right. Which means I'm left with this for the kitchen, which is not huge by any means, but it can definitely get updated. I would love to reface all the cabinetry. That's fine. And then in here, they have no mudroom, and they really do need a mudroom. This will work perfectly if I can get rid of this back stair. I mean, to me, that really? is a... Well, yeah, it's a luxury. It's nice if you don't need to create more space, which I need to do in this house. So it's a perfect opportunity to get rid of the staircase, push everything back to here, and they have a nice mudroom, which they really do need. There's a powder room to update, which is a sink, a toilet, and a hideous color on the walls. You got it. Wait, we're taking the stairs? They'll be gone. I thought you said this, uh, you know, this is a luxury. 
It is a luxury, so come and enjoy. Maybe I should go get the ladder then. No, just wallow and luxuriate in the luxury of this back staircase. It's fabulous. Bonus right. room. That is a bonus, all right. Well, I'm going to make it a bonus bonus room. Hold and on, hold on, hold on. What is the budget on this place? 110,000. All right, go on. I'm listening. With the stairs gone, now we can build out where the stairs used to be into this stairwell, and this whole area can become your bonus room, a guest room, and an office for Nikki, because now I've taken that away on the main floor to do that big open concept space, right? Yeah. Oh, well, one more thing I have to ask one you. One more thing. We've got to get rid of the popcorn ceilings. Hey, David, this is uh, Josh, and I have Hillary and Nikki with me. And we're kind of going over some of the, you know, changes that are about to happen. And we brought up demolishing the back stairs to open up some space for the mudroom. Uh, would it hurt or add value to, to us, us possibly selling the house? By demolishing the staircase, I'm not only giving them a really nice big mudroom, but I'm creating space on the second floor for Nikki's office. Oh. Ah, yeah. yeah. That's where the office is. Well, that. Will that value? For sure. There you go. Okay, cool, David. Well, I think that was all that we had. All right. Take care, guys. So, look, I'm adding mm. value to I your know. house. I'm adding function to your house. I'm a little skeptical. We use the staircase a lot. When the kids are playing up there, I'm in the kitchen. I can hear them if they need something. I'm just can run right up. Now I would have to run all the way around the house, down the hall, to go get them. All right, what about you? If a lot of those things are important to both of us, um, the, the stairs aren't something that I want to tackle demolishing at this time. Which means you're not going to get a better mudroom. You are not going to have a guest space anymore because the bonus room is now going to be your office and a kid's space. Right. So that seems to be a lot of money that we'll be able to save by not doing the stairs. Is there any way to, like, allocate that money into some other areas. That money is going to go into the uh -huh. kitchen and it's going to give you what you want in your kitchen. Yeah, we would like that. I think that sounds like a better idea. My goodness. Wow. Cabinets gone? Yeah. Much better. This is awesome. You get the sense of how it's going to be completely open. Can you see it now? I see resale. Whether you think it's going to be resale or not, right. the point is it's progress. Right. Demolition is always easy. It's right. putting it all back together again. That's the tricky part. Okay. And we do have one glitch we run into, which I do need to go through with you. Oh. All right. This wall, which we're planning on opening up. Right. Yep. This is the main waste, and that's your master bathroom up there. Right. It is. So it's in the way of getting a wall down. Oh. So we would have to reroute this. It doesn't end there. The way this wall, which is load-bearing, is constructed, it's quite a big job and expensive. Uh -uh. How much is it going to cost? At least $10,000. $10,000? I mean, it is important to me, but... But 10000 is a lot of money. Honestly, it is a lot of money, I know. OK. Yeah, we're already reaching a little bit, so adding even more would be too much. Then we're not doing this wall. We're back to it being exactly the way it is now. So what do you guys think of the neighborhood? Are it's you familiar nice. with it? Yeah, um, we're familiar. Yeah, I mean, it's really close to his work. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. Closer yeah. to downtown. Cool. Go nice. have a look. Let you walk in first. Come on in. Wow. Wow. What do you think? It's nice. Yeah, amazing. Very open. So you basically see everything. You've got your eat-in area. You've got your family room. Wow. You've got your kitchen. I see no popcorn. No, there's <laughs> no popcorn in this house. Yes. None. Now, I know that you have talked about having sort of a formal dining room with walls. Yes. It's oh, really okay. nice but I do love our dining room when we have people over. No, you're right. That's a good point. You've got a great space to hang out. Oh, wow. Oh, OK, yeah. You've got access to the garage right cool. over there. OK. So it becomes kind of like a little bit of a mudroom. Right. Let's keep going. Cool. Bedroom number one. Wow, this Look is Look at the size of these windows. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that brings in great light. They're massive. The bedrooms are a good size. Yes. Yeah, this is big. There is an identical bedroom to this one right next door. These are really nice. Guest bedroom number one. Number one. You have number the potential one. for two guest spaces in this house. Wow. OK. Oh, there's carpet in here. The yeah. master bedroom. Yes, oh. this is the one room with carpet. That's OK. okay. It makes it comfortable. 
This is like the size of our closet. Keeps going. Closet. Oh, wow, look at that shower. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. That's yeah. really nice. Storage. This is, oh, okay. So that is walk in closet oh, number wow. two. Oh, number two. Yeah, this is really yeah, nice. Yeah, this is nice. This, really, this one's going to be yours, buddy. I think so. <laughs> yeah, it would be more convenient. I think I can fit. Oh, we're going here. Your office space. Oh, My wow. Oh, interesting. What? Yeah. So, I think I this would even, be amazing. I know, but it's. Is this a better option than what you currently have? Yes or yeah. no? I can't, can't admit it. Can't. I can't Why? admit it. It's not that difficult. Is Could this another? Whoa, hold on a second. Oh. That's yeah. a surprise. OK. Oh. We are heading to the lower level. Whoa, from here? Yes. Oh, wow. Very cool. Yeah. You now can set this up however you want. If you want this to be the bonus space for the right. kids, and then you can have sort of the guest hangout area over there. There is a second guest room down here. Decent size. It's even got a nice window. It's nice yeah, well, and the ceilings are high, too, so it doesn't feel like a, a basement, really. What do you think this house is listed at? I'm probably going to guess it's right on budget. I think it's $500,000. What do you think? Um, I was thinking a little more, like $510,000. This house is listed at $475,000. Oh, wow. Under budget. Yeah. Under budget. Mm -hmm. Makes it even nicer. We've already started the reveal right here. You've got yeah, a brand new door. Is... Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah, Ta da! Nice. Sets the stage for what's to come. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. It makes a complete difference. This is nice. When you walk in, it's very welcoming. This is beautiful. Wow. The wall has been pushed back. Uh huh. So that already gives you this lovely sight line straight into the dining yes. area. You can notice the connection and with this great big opening. We already thought the dining room looked big, but now it looks even bigger. Yeah. We still didn't go fully open concept, but we created zones. Sight lines, everything open there. Yes. And then yeah. your office. My office. Oh, my gosh. This it's is beautiful. beautiful. It's so nice. I like the colors a lot. We haven't changed the space. Just by repositioning and reimagining the way it can work, turns it into a beautiful room when you walk into the house. Yeah. It's just... beautiful. You can also have a guest stay here when yes. that sofa's pulled out. I love that. Whoa, look, look at that. that. I'm telling you, I don't think we're in our house. No, it's beautiful. The fireplace is painted. And I love this door. Yes. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, my God. I'm glad we didn't turn around. Wow. Look at all this know we counter had this much space. space in here. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Wow. It looks so open. It's a lot more than I was expecting it to be. Yeah. You have storage in your island. You've got storage where you can see it above and below. It just feels so much bigger. It's pulled together and it's elegant, but it's ultimately informal. Right. Yes. And welcoming. That is us. The pre-renovation value of the home was $385,000. With a final renovation budget of $110,000, the new estimated value of this home is $515,000. That's an increase of $130,000. You could already afford that house. Right. So basically moving, you would be putting money into your pocket. Right. David found Nikki and Josh a house with a fully open concept kitchen and living room, plenty of bedrooms and bathrooms for the kids and multiple guests, a magnificent master suite, an office for Nikki, and a great lower level with bonus area for kids and adults. And it was below budget. Hillary was able to open up much of their main floor and completely renovate the dining room, living room, and kitchen. She updated Nikki's office with a potential area for extra guests, and she renovated their powder room. While Hillary wasn't able to create the true mudroom she envisioned, she was able to greatly improve their existing mudroom area. Okay, so right. decision made? Decision made. Decision is made. And are you going to love it? Or are you going to list it? We are going to list it. Fantastic decision. <laughs> Come on. It was tough. It was I very was telling tough. you all about that house. It's true. I must admit, it did sound like it was an awful lot of space. It was. Compared it was. to this. A lot of space for the money. Yeah. But this is beautiful. It is. This is very hard to walk away from.